Welcome back to my channel. I decided today that I want to do yet another get ready with me. I feel like I need to upload more. So until I get some more ideas, you're getting makeup from me again. If you got a problem with that, click off. No, I'm kidding. But I'm doing my makeup again. I'm out of breath. Okay, listen. If I sound like I'm out of breath, because I am. Because I'm wearing a waist trainer. Don't ask why I'm wearing a waist trainer. I just decided to put on a waist trainer today. I don't do this normally. I don't normally waist train. Because I be feeling like this. Like, I can't get past, like, the first hour. And my back is sweating. So, yeah. Before I get started, if I clap my hands one more time. Before I get started on my makeup, I'm gonna clean up a couple of my brushes. This little Sonia spray, quick clean dry brush spray, because for one, I never, so disgusting, but I don't clean my brushes often like I should. I probably clean my brushes like twice a year. Don't tell anybody that. I mainly need to clean this one because I feel like every time I use this brush, I break out. Oh. I don't think that's enough. Okay. You're supposed to just rub it onto a towel. I don't think that was enough for this brush. Oh, I don't like the way that feels. It feels oily. Okay. Well, that's gonna be the only brush I do because I don't like that. If my face breaks out, it just breaks out. Pretty moisturize my face. Um, what do I do first? I have not, I don't do my makeup like I used to do anymore. I don't wear it as much as I used to anymore. I just haven't been one to put on makeup. I need to get a table because I'm tired of sitting on the floor. I just like pull out my makeup. I'm still, I still have my makeup in a shoe box because I'm too lazy to find to put my makeup in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I prime my face. I bought this e.l.f. matte putty primer like two weeks ago. I tried it once. I don't know if I like it. I feel like I still got um oily. I don't know how much you're supposed to put. I was like, I got in somebody's, um, is it cocaine? If you see crust around my hairline, it's because my wig is crusty. I just put it on yesterday, but like, I hate whenever I get glue outside of the lace and it just messes up everything. And I don't know how people be like, just take alcohol, it'll come off. Not mine. After I did that, I'm gonna take my powder. Y'all already know what I do if you've seen my makeup video. Let me talk about something real quick. I think that I would like to do giveaway for my subscribers because I feel like I'm almost at 300 so I mean I should do something for when I get to 300. The one thing that I do want to include my giveaway and it's these uh, lashes. You see they're by, they're from Sweetheart Lashes um, on Instagram. They're in the style Emma and they're super duper cute. So. I do want to do a giveaway with those, so I'm going to set those aside because those will be part of the giveaway. I'm going to buy more makeup to add to it, so when I reach 300 subscribers, um, I will pick So I need to figure out how do I want to do, I guess whenever I get there, I'll have all planned out. So just know I'm going to be doing a giveaway for when I get to 300 subscribers. You know, about like five things included in it. It's all going to go to one person. I'm going to do a makeup giveaway. So look forward to that. I finally cleaned my little puff, my Laura Mercier puff. That thing was infested with bacteria. I'm pretty sure it took how long it stayed dirty. But yeah, just taking my translucent powder and setting over my um, primer. And I gotta hurry before the sun goes down. It's like, well, the sun is not even out because I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. So it's like super cloudy outside. And I like natural light, so. Did y'all even see that? I don't even know if I was covering my face or not. Look, this time you can tell I like the ColourPop um, brow balls. These are all done. I think there's like a little bit in one of these. And then here's my new one, so I like this. I've been seeing everybody getting the, what is it called? Um, brow lamination and I'm just like 
that may be what I need to solve all of my life problems. I don't get my brows plucked, waxed, threaded, nothing because I just I don't like it. And they don't really grow crazy anyway. Oh, okay, I just like literally stopped talking about what I was talking about. But yeah, I want to try the brow lamination thing because I just love the way they look. I like whenever you, um, whenever they have their brows just like stuck all the way up, just like lay, like going straight up. I don't like that look, but I do like the look when they're done. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know when I'll do it though because I still haven't, oh well, you know what, I don't even know if anybody does it here. So I'll probably have to look it up. But I haven't even gotten my eyelashes done yet. I've been wanting to get my eyelashes done for a while. I'm just trying to talk myself into it because I love to spend money. I don't know if I want to spend that much on some eyelashes that have to be redone like every, is it every two, three weeks? I don't know. I just, I'm trying to justify it because if you know me in person, you know I will spend money quick, like super quick. And then, yeah. But spending money on the eyelash extensions, I'm just trying to justify it. Um, so yeah, cause like, I don't even get my nails did. Like, I don't know, I, well, I haven't really been into nails um anyways so that's why my nails always look like this because i've just never really been into nails and also i work never really been into nails though i have been saying that i want to start but then i don't want to i don't know i don't know i just feel like all that stuff just like adds up like because i already get waxes now so so like getting your nails done, your toes done, your wax done, your brows done, your eyelashes done. I feel like it just adds up. And I'd rather just buy clothes and stuff. Clothes, shoes, makeup. That's what I'd rather spend my money on, honestly. And food. I was about to say, um, I do want to start treating myself, but I definitely already treat myself a lot. Let me finish this brow and I'll be back. I wanted to try the NARS concealer. I, I tried it once like a long, long time ago. Not a long, long time ago, probably like three years ago. I did not like it. So this time I bought dark walnut, medium dark 2.6 walnut. I like it a little bit better. I don't know, I wish it was a, oh, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little golden on me or something. Yellow, golden? I don't know. Just wanted to show y'all how tiny it was. Look at how tiny it is. It's like the travel ones. And I also bought the tiny foundation too. Okay, well this one, I was gonna buy the full size, but they didn't have the full size. Okay, I went to Ulta to get it. So I was like, okay, I want the tiny one until they get the full size one. Life hack or shopping hack. If some makeup you like comes in travel size, buy the travel size if you don't feel like spending a bunch of money at once because life is hard. The bank account be empty sometimes. No, literally though. I was just talking about this the other day. Let me finish this. Cause I cannot talk and do this at the same time. Okay, but like back to what I was saying, um, I was having this conversation the other day and I was just talking about like, I feel like as soon, like as soon as I turned 21, 
life just like hit me. I feel like when I was 20, 19, 18, well mainly 20, okay, mainly 20, it working when I was 19. So that year was a breeze, really a breeze. And then 20 came, as I remember, 20 was the breeze. And then like, as soon as I turned 21, June 16th, 2019, everything just started like getting crazy. Like, I just feel like if I could go back to being 18 or 19, I would. I would not go back to being a child because I don't want to go back through school again because I hated school. You know what's funny is I hated school, mainly high school but i always got good grades and stuff because i was like i gotta get out of here quick i'm not about to be wasting no time because i gotta get out of here so i went to school minded my business did my work got good grades and got out of there <laughs> i was gonna make a comment but i'm gonna keep it to myself because it was petty anyways yeah i feel like life just like hit me when i turned 21 like i got a couple bills i got a couple bills now and um it's hard it's mainly stuff that i've had before i was just like i can't keep up anymore I can't keep up anymore i mean i'm keeping up but it's like hard to keep up okay and while i'm talking i'm just gonna start applying this foundation this is the nars um natural radiant long wear foundation in the color macau but yeah i just it just started getting real real but um yeah the bills started sneaking up on me when I, I no I feel like when I started paying rent is when it got the most difficult I started paying rent in October November November and I no yeah November and I just feel like that's when things started going I don't want to say south because it's just a part of life but at the same time, I feel like it's just going south, you know? I, when I was 20 and everything, I was just like, oh, this is a breeze. Life is a breeze. But I lied to myself. I don't know. I don't know what was in the air. Like, it just felt like, I was like, oh, this is, this, this is what my life would be like? Cool. And to think that when I was little, I thought I was going to be rolling in money by the time I was 21. How come when we're little? Well, probably because we just don't know any better. But like, how come when we're little, we just think that we're gonna have all this stuff by the time we're 21, 25. We're gonna be rich, we're gonna have a big house, we're gonna have nice cars. I mean, of course there's people doing it now, but I mean, it's not everybody's path. It's not everybody's, what's planned for everybody. I suck at talking. I can never like get my thoughts together because my mind just skips from thing to thing. Like, I'm trying to talk, but I keep looking outside. That's how easily distracted I get. Life got hard when I turned 21. I want to eventually get the hang of everything, because so I feel like I just put my foot in the water. But at the same time, I want to be rich. Like, I want to be rich right now. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to struggle no more. I mean, of course, like people say, at least you're not starving every day or something like that you know but i literally hate when people say stuff like that like it could be worse like okay and does that not mean my situation isn't bad though just because it could be worse i just want to be rich i don't even need, uh, yeah i want to be rich i mean i mainly want to be comfortable because not everybody is going to be rich i just want to be comfortable and then like have money to where i can do whatever i want like if I want to go on a vacation, I can do that because I have the money to, you know? So that's the point in life I want to reach and I'm ready to reach it. I do feel like that what I'm working towards is starting to happen. So my YouTube channel is growing, getting a good amount of views. My subscribers are growing. My Instagram is growing. I've been getting collaboration. So, you know, I know things are taken off gotta be consistent that is where i mess up at. i'm not consistent and i can admit to that i know i'm not consistent i feel like i hate this every i feel like everybody says this but i literally feel like this is my year things are gonna 
take off. I just gotta be consistent. The, the keyword is consistent. Not get discouraged if things go left. Look at me talking. I'm, I can't believe I'm talking. I cannot wait until I'm at the point where I can just like depend on myself for money. I mean, I depend on myself for money now. Like being my own boss, like working, getting paid from social media and stuff. Because listen, retail ain't it, sis. It's not it. There's nothing wrong with retail, but it's just like, it's not where I want to be. And most people that are in retail, it's not where they want to be because it's tiring like you gotta deal with rude people that get mad over the stupidest stuff <sighs> it makes me mad because it's just like how can you be rude to people over stuff they can't control yeah like i don't understand like how can people just be rude to people for no reason i would never i would never i kind have an attitude at work but as soon as somebody comes up to me that needs help with something or like something like that, that attitude is gone. They would never know how to attitude. Because common courtesy, don't be rude to people. Like you don't know what people have going on. And you're over here complaining because we don't have your favorite type of chips. It's not that big of a deal. Come back, order them, go somewhere else. I am with y'all retail because I ain't got time for people like that. But yeah, we can't control everybody's mood. They can take that up with God when it's time okay they can take that up with him their their little attitude problem same contour i always use a little makeup revolution foundation stick and f16 i think this that spray is making my contour go weird because my contour looks Crazy. Okay, I feel like that looks a little better. I was looking a little harsh. What can I talk about next? Let's talk about traveling because i want to travel this year now where to i don't know but i do want to travel because i'm tired of sitting in dirty old louisiana i just want to like travel um because there's so much world and i haven't seen that much of it now how am i going to travel i don't know because I'm terrified of planes. I have, you know, I don't even know why I'm terrified of planes. I have no reason to terrified of planes because I haven't been on a plane. Exactly. I'm not terrified of a plane that I've never been on. And like they say, planes are safer than cars. How true is that? Can a pilot please tell me how true is that? I feel like I'd be pretty safe in my car. You know what? That's a lie. I don't be feeling safe in my car because people be driving crazy. Like somebody almost hit me today. I went to go get me some coffee and a breakfast sandwich from Dunkin' Donuts. And somebody almost hit me. So maybe maybe planes are safer than cars. Because I don't know, you never really hear two planes colliding. Actually, I watched a video the other day on YouTube and two planes ran into each other. But I don't know. Maybe that was just quinky dink. I am supposed to be going to LA very soon. I don't know though. I am supposed to be going to LA soon. But I'm quite scared because I don't fly. I mean, people fly every day. How often do you hear of planes crashing? I'm not gonna look it up. 500 deaths annually. Oh, but it says airplane crashes are super rare. 200 times less likely than automobile crashes. I need proof. Somebody make a documentary 
on planes flying every day. Cause I'm not, I'm not believing it. I believe it when I when I read it or see it with my own with my own eyes. Oh, I didn't tell y'all what I used to bronze. I used the little hula bronzer. Focus. Toasted. I was so happy when I saw that they had dark colors now. I used to always see girls using back then and I was like, oh, I wish I could use that. But if I put that on my face, I'm going to look dead. If anybody knows, I don't, I like, I like oranges, orange colors, and I like, like, pinky colors. Not super pink, like Kylie Jenner pink, because I think I would look like a clown. So I stick to orange. I need to get a new palette because this orange is so old. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit Tan to Deep, and I use, what is it called, Le Orange? Le Orange? Le Orange? Yeah, the orange. It's like the only pink I've been using. I finally bought another lip plumper. The Too Faced lip plumper. This thing, when I put it on, when I first got it again, oh my battery is dying. When I put this on the day, it burned because I, I forgot how intense it was. Well, I just need to like contour my nose really quick. Okay, let me let my camera charge a little bit and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I went ahead and finished my makeup because obviously I'm losing light because it's getting dark outside. I think I'm about to burn my carpet too. Um, so now we're gonna do my hair. I'm not gonna do much to it because I mean, I don't really have much to do to it. Like y'all keep seeing me. This is my first time trying this hair. This is from Diamond Virgin Hair um, on Instagram. They reached out to me and wanted to send me some hair. This is it. I'll just put a screenshot of their Instagram on here. But um, yeah, they reached out to me and wanted to send me some hair. So they sent me oh, how many? Okay, the length that I asked for they didn't have for 216 and 218, so it doesn't cut it anyways. I think they sent me 22 and 220s. Frontal um, only comes in 14 inches, I think. So that's why the frontal is shorter. But I like that look anyway. So I like for my hair to look kind of layered. So this is the hair. And I did cut it. It was longer, obviously, because it was 22. Um, I cut it to right here where I want it shorter. I want it all the way down the back. Is it all the way down the back? Not really. It's literally super soft and silky, and I did dye it black. It did not come this color. I kind of messed up this hair because I dyed my lace. There's like big black patches on my lace, and I was trying to fix it. I tried doing the color oops. I saw people using color oops on their lace to like remove the color from the lace. Yeah, um, I don't know what kind of color oops y'all got, but it did not work on mine. There's still big black patches. Maybe it's because this is like permanent dye. Well, I mean, it says you can remove permanent dye. I think I don't know though. The lace is pretty nice too. It has a pretty good amount of stretch to it as well. That's something that I've been like really picky about when it comes to frontals. Um, like some frontals just be super stiff and hard and like, they itch so bad. This one has a good amount of stretch to it though, so I kind of like it. Um, See, so I like it. And this is actually a 13 by 6 um, frontal as well. I want some crab legs. I'm like obsessed with crab legs. Like, I could eat crab legs every day. I like mine spicy. I don't see how people eat crab legs and just dip them in butter. Like, give me some, give me some seasoning, make it spicy, give me some corn, some sausage. Like, don't give me no plain crab legs. This is their pink label hair, actually. They sent me the pink label hair from that, um, line. And it's straight. Straight hair. My lace is kind of light, I feel like. So I'm guessing it wasn't transparent. It was just some light brown lace. 
and I used my Biani Hair Collection um, Lace Tint Spray in the shade Sienna. I'll link that below too, because that is like a holy grail when it comes to um, stepping your weight game up. It's tinting your lace. It just, like, you could put on a wig and not tint it, and like, it just ruins it because you can, like, see the lace. But as soon as you tint it, it just, like, takes the wig to another level. I've actually had questions on this a flat iron too. I'll link that below as well. It's just an infinity pro by Conair. I got it from Walmart. I have to like link things in like the model because there's like different ones. And I already I already hot comb this, but I don't feel like doing it again. It's a little I'm gonna go in the bathroom and show y'all this. Can y'all like see? This is the hair. I still cannot breathe. I'm about to pop this thing off. When I get done, I'm about to eat. I made the ends straighter. Cause I hate whenever the ends are like super see-through and stuff. So I made them straight. Cut them turn balls. But yeah, that's everything. Um, yeah, I finished my makeup. I will link everything down below of the rest of the makeup I use. It's pretty much the same thing I always use. But yeah, link everything below. I'll link the hair below. I'll link their Instagram below. Anything you need to know about that I use in this video, I'll have it linked below. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and listening to me talk about life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I forgot to say that in the beginning. Like, comment, and subscribe. I can see you watching. You better, you better subscribe. Better subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It'll be linked below. Um, yeah, that's everything. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.